NASA's expertise extends not only into outer space, but also far beneath the surface of the Earth. The space agency says its satellites can pick up signs of volcanic unrest years before volcanoes erupt. Scientists analyze data, radiant heat from the past 16 years, all had one thing in common. In the years leading up to an eruption, the radiant surface temperature over the volcano increased by around one degree Celsius, and then it decreased after each eruption. Eruptions and evacuations ongoing on the Caribbean island of St. Vincent, where volcanic explosions continue. The volcano erupting late last week and forcing the evacuation of roughly 16,000 people. Today, we spoke with a volcano expert at Arizona State University who tells us explosions and disruptions to daily life could take place on St. Vincent for many months. It's probably going to be like it has been in the past, where they have a lava dome eruption, a period of explosions, which are kind of pretty typical of what we, you know, that we saw the last few days. And then it, it'll probably go back into some lava dome behavior and maybe a few more explosions and then hopefully sort of shut off within a year. Uh, it has a lot of sulfur dioxide, as I understand it. And so those plumes with a lot of ash and sulfur dioxide are being carried across the Atlantic. And so they're ending up reaching West Africa and parts of Southern Mediterranean Europe. She adds that sulfur dioxide could create a temporary and regional cooling effect as it hinders the way sunlight reaches the Earth. That volcano last erupting in 1979.